So in this video, I'll be showing you how to connect your DJI Neo with your goggles free and your motion controller. Right guys, the first thing you've got to do is remove your camera cover. We're going to turn on the app first on your DJI Fly app okay. connection guide. So the first thing we need to do is turn on the DJI Neo. Okay, so that's on. Now we just wait until it connects up. So we connect the, just connecting up the drone at the moment. Join it. Right, and we go on to the main screen and then we say you got the picture of the goggles. Okay, press the goggles. So what we're doing now is powering up the goggles now and we just turn on the goggles Uh, and once that's been done, you say, OK. So we, all we're doing is it's just following the instructions. So there's a new uh, Goggles Free firmware available, so I install that first. OK, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to turn on my motion controller as well. And we just connect that. There's obviously some new firmware there that I haven't downloaded yet. Now I think this is um, was done a few days ago, but I might be wrong. One of the main things I've found, guys, when you're reconnecting devices, be it my Aparta 2 or maybe my Mini 4 Pro, you always got to make sure you've got the latest update. Because if you don't have the latest update, then it's not going to work. So I'm going to speed up this process because this could take a while because we're doing the goggles free and the motion free controller. So in 94%, um, there's a lot of noises going on between the controller and the uh, goggles. Okay, so it's saying it's all done. So I'll just press OK. Right, I do continue. Because what it's doing now is searching firmware updated, un right, relink device to aircraft if device restarts automatically. So, so we're going to do the pair now. That's where we have to press the uh, button for a full seconds. Okay, just heard the noise. Okay, so looks like we're already in. So that easy. Okay, so let's have a quick look. So turn on the DJI Neo first. Okay, the Neo is on. We then tap the connection guide. The DJI Neo, <clears throat> we then scroll along to what we're going to do. We're going to connect the RC and goggles. Okay, then we turn on the goggles. Okay, the goggles are on. <clears throat> yep, the goggles are on. Okay, let me press the we're going to link the motion controller now. Okay. So what I do, I'm just going to do one more last check. Um, that's, that's about it really. And we just put the goggles on. I'll keep back, just in case it comes back on me. Done a test flight indoors. The next one is doing a test flight 
outside doors. See you in a mo. So I'm at my favourite location. There's my DJI Neo. I'm gonna love flying around it. So I'm gonna check out if this is any good flying around as an FPV drone. It's not gonna compete with my Afata 2, I know that, but it should still be a fun drone. <laughs> but we're gonna see. Are we ready? Let's begin. Okay, home point updated. That's good. I've got it on normal mode. Motor starting. Take off. Okay. Let's go for it. It's, we've got a lot of bushes here. I have to be careful because it's such a little diddly thing. I probably won't be able to see it. So anyway, what, what, what I want to try out obviously first is the uh, the signal strength. Um, is it going to be any good? Okay, everything's looking good at the moment. It's got good signal strength. I'm just going to bring it around. I don't want to walk too far away. Um, I suppose on this, if I did lose it, I'm not going to get the bleeper. So that will be interesting. Okay, we're just bringing it in now. Okay, we could bring it out through the big doorway at the moment. Back towards me. Okay, we've got 70% on the battery. Everything seems to be doing all right. Bring it around that tree. Now we've got no wind at the moment, which is good. I don't think this would cope very well in the wind somehow. I'll just slow it down a little bit. I was getting a bit carried away there. Okay, oh, okay. Right, let's bring it around. Let's give and go through that window first. Okay, oh, straight in there. Look, got, uh, got a red line at the bottom, which means uh, the signal wasn't very good, but it's, that's fair enough. We've got an orange one now. Back through the big hole. We lost that. So we can go up through the, the big hole at the top there. What I don't want to do is get it stuck in the middle there, because that would be ironic, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'll spend all day trying to get the thing out of it. Okay, let's go back down. Let's go back down. We're going through it again. Oh, at an angle. Now, obviously, that top one's not going to happen. Okay. Well, now I know if I go up here, the signal's not bigger than you breathe. Even on my Afata 2, it's um, pretty limited. What I might try, I'll put it into sports mode. Seems to be sort of up high. Signal's still good. I'll just fly it over here. Got 13 satellites. Back down to me. Let's see if we can do a bit of low, low flying. Entrance. Nice clear picture, I must say. Okay, we just go out through one of these windows. I would, I would imagine I'll be putting on um, uh, some music. Ooh, oh dear, dear. Nearly had it. Nearly lost it there. Nearly lost it. Okay, let's go up. Go at the top here. I would, I would go up the tunnel, the, the funnel there, but I won't because I'm not, I don't fancy going up inside that. It did get stuck. But let's go, let's go there. Well, isn't that pretty high? Back down. Head tracking. Let's get it going.
So officially, Closer, not too close. <laughs> okay. So, so it does head tracking. So if I look up, I look down, I look up. Now obviously I haven't got it straight on now. But anyway, you get the gist of it. We'll land it, because I know I'm running out of power now. So, quick one, because somebody's coming up behind me. People do always get inquisitive when drones are flying, obviously. Anyway, it worked. I'm going to have great fun with this. I'm going to try it out for a week or so in the FBV mode. Loving it already. I mean, today is not the best of day of flying it because it's a bit cloudy, but it's not windy. I think this wouldn't cope very well in the wind. If the far are too the struggles, but this I think would be blowing out. But what was good about it, good signal strength. I flew up quite a distance. Started breaking up in some places, which I've noticed with the other one. So yeah, really chuffed with it. As always guys, this could be another video coming very soon. Mm -hmm.